Hey YouTubers, Holly Nature One here, and are we filming? We are filming live on the air from my kitchen. Um, I I am so sorry. I'm flooding your inbox with or your subscription box with tons of videos. But you know what? It's a Saturday night, and that's just what uh, YouTubers do when they're bored on Saturday night. They film a bunch of videos, and so that's what I'm gonna be doing for you guys today. I've done like one, two, three, four. I've done five videos. I've got one uploading and it's a follow me around vlog. By the way, if you have motion sickness, I would not watch that video because it's very shaky and very windy, but I wanted to upload it anyways because it's crazy. And this video is maybe going to be my last. I think I'll limit myself. So I've had one, two, three, four, five, about seven videos in a day. I mean, call me crazy, but I think I'm obsessed with YouTube. And I just, I don't know, I, I feel really bad sometimes because, um, in my week, my weekday videos, or my uh, weekday videos, I, all the videos are boring. And then when it comes to the weekend, I flood your subscription box because I get to do fun videos without having to worry about school. So that's what I'm doing. Alright, so what is this video about? This is my everyday. I'm going to get these everyday like I did, like the everyday makeup routine. And um, this one is my everyday what I eat. I practically eat the same things every single day. If not, dinner is different. So, um, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. And I'm just going to show you guys, like, I'm in here in my kitchen. I'll give you, like, a little kitchen tour. Do you want a kitchen tour? Okay. Kitchen's pretty cleaned. Alright, so we live in an apartment, right? And this is our small little kitchen. So that's the entryway. Let me just shut this door. Don't hit me. Um, I kind of can't. Okay, well, that's like the entryway area. I'm sorry, I'm trying to not get my mother in it, but that's the entryway. And then as you turn, it's like basically a little circle, you guys, almost. It's just a little circle. So, yeah, that's our little kitchen tour. I hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. No, I'm totally kidding. I'm going to do more. All right, and I might, I might be a little bit dark. I've explained so many times that my lighting is so awful and crummy. Maybe if I move. What if I moved? Should I move? I think I should move. So we are now transferring to the other side of my kitchen. So that way you guys can ho hopefully see me better. Watch do none of a difference at all. Did it do a difference? What do you guys think? Hold on. You can see me better. Oh my gosh, I'm in the lighting. Yeah. Okay, um, sorry about that. That was really, really awkward. Oh, this is like our oven area, microwave. I feel like I'm doing like house hunters. And here we have an oven. We have this um GE efficient microwave and a oh, look. It opens and there's a light on. Okay. All right. I'm totally kidding. All right. So let me start off with breakfast. And breakfast, I'm sorry, I cut off my head. Breakfast is pretty easy. I'll have cereal, a bagel, and my beet fusion juice. So this is the kind of cereal I have. Okay. Oh, snap. Oh, okay. There's a new box. Scared me half to death. All right, so normally I would have Cheerios, and the last time I did my everyday breakfast routine, I had Cheerios, but now I am a Brand Flakes, yeah, Brand Flakes all the way. I don't know, I got sick and tired of Cheerios, and I feel like it's about to happen with my Brand Flakes. Oh my gosh, I just realized it's the same on both sides. That was really hilarious. So it's just these great great value brand flake cereal made with whole grain and look at them look at the yumminess and um this was found at walmart pretty cheap then um i have that i put milk in it and i've tried soy milk and soy milk is just completely disgusting like oh my gosh it's just really disgusting so we just get again with the great value two percent milk then to drink, I'll usually have V8 Fusion Juice or or okay. So normally I have V8 V Fusion Juice, and this is the strawberry smoothie kind, and it just looks like that. It's the new kind. I'll usually have that, or I'll have orange juice. I like to have orange juice sometimes because it just wakes me up in the morning. 
because it's just so puckery. No, wait, that's lemonade. I'm sorry, I got it wrong. Excuse me. So then, with my cereal, because that's just not enough for me. It's just not fulfilling and not satisfying. So I have it with the Winders Plain bagels. And wow, there's six bagels in them. Yeah. Um, no, totally kidding. Okay, they just look like this. The Linder's Plain. They stay as fresh, long, six bagels. And I only have one. Because I don't like to have, I'm really picky on my food, you guys. Like, I don't like to eat bread t more than twice. Like, breakfast and dinner is okay. Uh, but then if I have it like lunch and dinner or breakfast and lunch, that's just not okay. So normally I have it breakfast and dinner or I just have it for breakfast. And um, because bagels are really like, they just turn up into sugar and they make you feel like more like just tired and stuff like that. So I split the bagel in half and I eat one. Like so. Just like that. So yeah, that's my breakfast. I just have milk in my bran flakes orange juice or Vietnamese fusion juice and a bagelette with butter on top. Another topping for bagels is peanut butter. Peanut butter is really good on bagels. You get your protein in for the morning and um, yeah, but I don't really have peanut butter. I don't know why. Um, then comes the lunch and I, I'm, I don't know. I'm really weird on my food, you guys. Like, I don't know, and I keep saying that over and over and over and over again, and that gets really, really annoying. But, um, um, my mom's chomping on apples over there, by the way. Um, I love you, Mama. Okay, I'm sorry about that. So, for lunch, I don't really like to have much of lunch because there's just, it used to be where I couldn't find any breakfast foods, but now it's I can't find anything to eat for, um, lunch and yeah I don't know I just really frustrated so normally I'll eat salad for lunch or I just won't eat anything and I know I said that I have to eat like so often or I'll get sick that's getting much better as I'm eating more and more so I'm definitely thankful for that but um for like getting better so before I have my dinner I this is like my favorite snack hands down let me go get it for you guys in my pantry Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready? What, mother? Oh. Ritz crackers. Let me just say, these babies are so awesome. They are just like, um, I don't know, they are just, they just rescued me in my time of need. Ritz crackers, they are just so delicious, you guys. You need to go to the stinking grocery store and you need to go purchase these because, purchase, uh, they're not clothes. You need to go buy these because they are just so delicious and um, do not whatsoever try this kind. Is my phone ringing? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so do not try this kind, and it's the Ritz Hint of Salt, a low sodium choice. Yes, it says, oh, hi, my name is Ritz Crackers, and I'm a low sodium choice. Means I don't have much salt on it. Let me just say, you guys, it is the most nastiest cracker I've ever had in my whole lifetime. And it's so bland. It's crazy how one little ingredient can change your whole mouth forever. And, um... I was really looking forward to getting this because I'm like, oh, I can eat healthy now with my crackers. No, it's the salt that makes it um, taste good. And I'm going to show you guys the difference between this cracker and the other cracker because there's a difference. I can't open it. Help, I can't open it, these crackers. Okay, there we go. Like, when they say a hint of salt, they're like one little teeny tiny teaspoon of salt. So now let me get out one of these crackers. All right, so you ready to see the difference? There is such a big difference, it's crazy. I'm sorry, that broke. So now let me get you guys a nice cracker, and that broke too. Okay, this, just look at them. Can you not even see that? You can't even see that, oh my gosh. Okay, this one has absolutely no salt. It's the 
a hint of salt one but if you look at it there is no salt in this whatsoever it is so disgusting then when you pair it with this one can you see the difference there's like little speckly things on it yeah that's the salt and i just want to say you need to get the salted kind because the salt will change your life forever in a good way this will change your life forever in a bad way and you know what i say to these crackers here we go where's the thing i say to these crackers i say down the disposal that's what i say about those crackers because those crackers are just they're just not good okay so i think i've rambled on and you guys can see my pantry now that's awkward um okay i've rambled on enough about my ritz crackers but what i do pair them with is because i don't know i feel like the ritz crackers they're they're not that healthy for you because they've got so much salt on them um then i pair it with cheese and this is the kind of cheese that i pair it with like this it's the colby jack natural 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 cheese and it comes in these like little um cheese packs and they are like snack and cheese to go land awakes pair these together and you have yourself a delicious snack so ritz crackers with some um cheese things not the shredded cheese but the regular cheese oh my gosh it's just heavenly you guys so that's usually like my favorite snack that i like to have um Sorry, I'm over here trying to put everything away and not make a mess because I don't need to make a mess. Okay, so next, after I made a mess with my Ritz crackers here, come over here, you guys. Okay. Plus, another snack that I really like. I'm a big snack person, and um, maybe you guys don't know that but yeah i'm i live off of snacks i don't like big meals i like small meals and then eating snacks so what kind of snacks do i get well these are the kind of snacks i get these are the honey nut cheerios milk and um uh, milk and um cereal bar or whatever and it just looks like this is really really thick and they taste really really good with like a glass of milk and then these are the chewy chocolate chip granola bars pretty self-explanatory on that also one thing i do have to say i don't have them with me but the skinny cow bars i did a review on that you should go check that out i we shop at walmart for groceries because it's just like cheaper there um and they don't have my skinny cow bars there so I haven't been able to get them in a while, but they're so good, you guys. So those are like my big snacks. And for fruit-wise, I did a Health 101 video. I did two videos on like what I like to eat and stuff like that. So maybe this is copying it, but this is my like kind of an update on what I like to eat. Because uh, it's it's been a little bit different. But um, yeah, so I definitely like made on oranges to eat, like the little cup. Applesauce, I love applesauce, that's really, really good. Um, dinner. Now for dinner... I love me some chicken. I mean, I just chicken. I have dreams about chicken. It's that good with some honey mustard. The Publix chicken is so good, like that from the deli. Um, so for dinners, it's basically you know we usually like to eat potato soup. We like to eat um, chicken, steak, and rice, and just pretty much anything for dinner. So dinner is basically the only thing that changes. Um, and like for me eating but the same thing i eat uh, ritz crackers and cheese every day pretty much i eat my bran flakes the bagel v v fusion juice for breakfast and then dinner is different and then for dessert um as you notice i don't really have a lot of like um what you would call it like junk food so the only time i really pick out on junk food is at night time before i go to bed and this is just vanilla flavored low fat ice cream not the best ice cream to have but it is kind of like the cheapest ice cream to have um so yeah i think i've rambled on about food enough oh wait i got one more thing for you guys if you thought i was done i wasn't this is also this bad boy right here yeah it's really good this is like the best bread you'll ever eat in your lifetime market side french bread is delicious you get this at walmart it's so good you guys it's just oh my gosh i can't even explain how much it tastes because it just tastes oh so good and um yeah so i don't know why i spun but i just felt like spinning um 
What else did I want to say? Um, I don't know what I was saying. Okay, I think I'm going to go because I'm at 15 minutes and 9 seconds, so I'm just going to let this run out. I'm so sorry these videos may be boring to you guys. You might not be interested, but I hope you guys enjoyed my everyday, like, what I eat and stuff like that. And stay tuned for following me around vlog, and I'll talk to you guys later. Alright. Bye, guys. Have a great night, day, bye, see ya, peace.